video we will go over how to call up a spread chart and alter it and save it. Spread charts are available in the gold versions of Trade Navigator and above. In order to begin we will be opening up a brand new chart window. I prefer keyboard functions. I'm going to be using control plus the letter N for new on my keyboard. That calls up the new chart window and hit the OK button. From the settings for new chart, we're going to select the spread option, which is the second option under the symbol. You can then adjust the mathematical function that you want the spread to be based on. We'll be using the minus, and by default, Trade Navigator already put the next month out as the spread difference market. If we wanted to alter this market, we would then click the button directly to the right of the symbol, which will allow you to change to a next expiration month. Go ahead and hit the OK button. You can adjust the multipliers that will give weight to the individual contracts that you're spreading against, as well as change the number of contracts. You may add another market by clicking where it says to add another market plus or minus, and once again, select the market that you'd like to spread against. If you'd like to change the indicators being applied to the chart and you have a template set up, you may select the template here, or you can always add the template later once the spread has been built. Bar period, you can adjust if you want daily or weekly, and click the OK button. Once the spread is built, you can see the description and the top title bar of the chart. It's the ZW May September December spread chart. When the contract months change, you will have to go in and manually rebuild another spread chart. If you would like to save this chart setup window, you can save the chart page. This will allow you to always return to this so that you don't have to build it again. One more thing I want to point out while we're talking about spreads is that you can add a uh, spread study to any chart window. If you go ahead and hit A for add item to chart, A on your keyboard, we'll bring up the add to chart window. Go down to spread, you'll see that there's two spread studies that can automatically be added to your chart window. Spread difference and spread ratio. We'll go ahead and select spread difference, add it to the chart, and we'll see that we're doing um, a spread with dollar sign SPX based on the ZB. Now, this can be edited from the edit chart settings window. If we go to edit chart settings, we can then change the symbol that the spread comparison is being based against. So if we have ZB, we may want to compare it to maybe the DX and hit OK. Then our spread will be based on a different market. So that's a wrap on spread charts. If you have any further questions on spreads, you can always call tech support or set up a one-on-one -on -one training session.